Alright guys, what's up? Uh, yeah, we made it to beautiful Florida. Nice palm trees. Um, so yeah, we're getting up pretty early right now. It's around 7 and we're gonna go do some fishing. So we already got the golf cart already. There she is. Um, and yeah, there's a pond just over, just over that way. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Alright, here we go. So yeah, the pond's just up the street. It's a nice, nice little ride. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, um, the pond looks really good. It's all like the fog kind of coming up because it's early morning. It's awesome. So, we're going to go down there. Probably going to start off with a rattle trap or something um, or a jig or something. I've heard those work pretty good. Even a spinner bait would probably work pretty good in Florida. But, um, yeah, we'll go give it a shot and, yeah, see you down there. Alright, guys, so yeah, the pond's just right up over here. Hopefully, this little rod holds up. It is a loose, but it was only 20 bucks on the clearance rack at Walmart. So I had to get something cheap. Um, so, and it came already um, pre-spooled with six pound, uh, six pound mono. So I don't know how six pounds gonna do, um, especially since the fish in here. A lot of them they said were like four to five pounds, but um, you know we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll have to keep the drag pretty loose, um, but yeah, see what we can get. Yeah, I might tie on the rattle trap. See how that works. A little lipless. Alright guys, there we go. So right there, got the little red lipless um, crankbait, rattle trap, whatever you guys call it. So, start off with that. Like they said, it's hit or miss with some of these ponds, you know. Sometimes you come down here and they're biting like crazy and sometimes it's really, really slow. Alright guys, enormous splash right there. Oh wow. I don't know what that was. Whatever that was, gosh, that was big. I don't know if top water's doing good. If I should try that at any time. I'm just gonna kinda drag it along these weeds for a little bit. All right, there we go, guys. We are all rigged up with top water. So I think we'll give it a shot. Alright guys, so I just made it all the way around that entire pond to not get hardly any action at all, which is too bad. I mean, it is middle of the day and it's sunny, so that could have to do with it a little bit, but... Alright guys, so it, uh, it's day two of the um, attempt to catch some big Florida bass. So, uh, yeah, I talked to some people yesterday who were actually fishing. Um... And they said that, yeah, all these ponds are basically hit or miss. They said the other day they caught, like, two or three big ones. And then yesterday, absolutely nothing. So, I don't know. We're going to give it another shot. We're going to go to a different pond today. So, we're going to be taking the cart right there. Um, yeah, we're going to get loaded up and head out. Yeah, so the pond's just to the right of me now. So, um... I don't know, we'll see how it is. Thank you. 
Alright, so the pond is just over there. I'm just gonna cut across the street. Uh, there were some gators here yesterday that I saw, but I don't know. Hopefully they moved on or something, but I don't know. We're gonna go try to catch some big bass and yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, guys, so there we go. Um, yeah, like I said, the pond's just right over there, so we're just gonna cut across the street. Right now, I got the little uh, strike post swim bait tied on. Nice bait right there. Looks awesome in the water. But yeah, hopefully there's no, not many alligators. Don't really feel like getting eaten today. I think this, this pond is part of a golf course, so hopefully it's pretty good. You know, when I was talking to people about the catching uh, fish, they said they've never heard of anything small coming out of here. It's all, all four, five, six pounders. Some guy caught like a couple tens, which is pretty freaking insane. But it'd be nice if we could do the same. Man. Is that a gator? Guys, I think there's a gator right down in that water over there where the rod's pointing. I'm not quite sure if it's one, but we'll get a better look. Well, sure looks like it. Yep, that's a gator. Maybe there's fish near him or something. Alright. Gonna do a little pond hopping now. We'll leave the gator to itself. Alright, so yeah. So, we're gonna head back to the cart. Um, and we're probably gonna try to go do some different ponds and... See if anything's biting today. Guys, these huge vultures up there. See that thing? Look what they caught. That's a big, big catfish. That thing grabbed it out of the water. Right up there. He was just sitting on it. And I ran over to him and he flew away. Look at how big they are. My God. They just took that catfish. These things are enormous. Let's see if he comes back to it when I leave. There's a ton of them. Two up there, there's three really low right here. Oh, there he is. He's back at the catfish. He's going, he's going at it. There he is, he's grabbing it. Oh, oh, he had it. He wants it, I think he sees me. <laughs> Doesn't want me to go rush at him. Oh, he flew away. He left it. Oh, I need a fillet knife. Go cut that thing up. It's already long gone dead. That'd be nice, real nice bait for bass. I'm gonna go take a look back at that catfish. See if there's any pieces that he put, or that he ripped off, that I can put on the hook. Oh, whoa, oh. <laughs> there he is. He doesn't want me to go near his food, but... He's eyeing me. Look at that, guys. Alright guys, it's probably going to have to call it a day in a little bit. And we'll come back here. Um, I'm going to do some golfing later today, so we'll probably come back here tomorrow morning or something. I'm not going to give up though. I know there's something. We'll catch something.
Alright guys, what's up? So, as you can see, right now I am back in New England, unfortunately. But don't worry, there's still going to be more Florida content coming up in the next couple of videos. So stay tuned for that, it's not over. I'm just uh, putting in this clip because I'm editing all the videos right now. And I basically just wanted to let you guys know that, um, yeah, that video, um... I basically just threw it in there because I wanted to do something with all that footage and um, it actually was pretty cool what the vulture did with that catfish. Um, I've only seen that a few times where a hawk like caught a bass or something but never like a catfish or a vulture or anything. That was actually pretty cool to see it swoop down and grab it out of the water and all that stuff. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys that. Um, but yeah, we did get skunked quite a few times down there in the ponds because uh, as some of you know like right now in Florida the fish are... Um, in the middle of their spawning season right now um so basically they're all sitting on beds and none of them want to eat they're just protecting the eggs and all that um and i was trying to like look around the ponds and find the bed so i can like you know drag a crankbait through that and try to like get them to go after it but uh the water down there especially in the ponds is just so brown and murky you cannot see like within like two inches deep in the water if that you can't you can't even see anything um, it's just so brown, so I couldn't find any of the beds. Couldn't really do that. Um, I talked to people, and they said that this week was even worse for fishing because um, the full moon is out down there. Um, and apparently, I actually learned this from the guy that I went um, bass fishing with in the next video. That Stay tuned for that. It's pretty good. We, catch, we do actually catch fish in that, so it's pretty good. But, um, but yeah, so he told me that the full moon actually really impacts... Um, whether the fish bite or not, and I actually did not know that, um, and apparently it's because, like, it's really bright, and all the fish really normally feed at night, so when that light's, like, um, penetrating the water and stuff, like, it confuses them, because they, it's not dark, like, normal, um, especially with the full moon, it's so bright, so they don't really eat as much, and then the morning comes, and it screws them all up, so that has another, um, big impact, so basically I picked the worst fishing week in Florida, figures, but, we did still catch some um, real good fish in the next video, so definitely stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, definitely like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you in the next video.